Denmark has taken a significant step in modernizing its military capabilities with the recent acquisition of the Dell's M3 amphibious bridge and ferry system, according to a September 8, 2025 announcement by General Dynamics European Land Systems. The contract, signed with the Danish Ministry of Defense Acquisitions and Logistics Organization, DALO, will equip the Royal Danish Army with a highly mobile and versatile solution for rapid wet gap crossings, a capability considered critical in modern land warfare. Wet gap crossings, which involve moving troops and heavy equipment across rivers, fjords, or other water obstacles, are among the most complex tasks in contemporary combat, often determining the speed and success of mechanized operations in contested environments. The Dell's M3 system represents a significant technological leap over legacy bridging equipment. Designed as a fully amphibious platform, each M3 unit operates as a 4x4 vehicle fitted with fold-out pontoons and dual water jet propulsion, allowing it to enter water bodies and transition rapidly from road to ferry or bridge configuration. In ferry mode, Two to four M3 units can carry main battle tanks or tracked infantry fighting vehicles, while up to eight units can be combined to construct a 100-meter bridge in less than 10 minutes. Crucially, this deployment does not require external support vehicles or heavy cranes, enabling fast, autonomous operations even under threat from artillery or aerial surveillance. Denmark's acquisition of the M3 is closely aligned with the evolving strategic demands of NATO's northern flank. With tensions in the Baltic region and the necessity of maintaining a forward presence, NATO emphasizes rapid mobility and interoperability across its member states. Denmark's terrain, characterized by extensive waterways, fjords, and inland rivers, presents natural challenges that historically slowed mechanized units. Traditional bridging systems, often dependent on static infrastructure or slower deployment times, cannot meet the demands of high-tempo operations in potentially contested areas. The M3 system addresses these limitations by offering unmatched mobility, modularity, and rapid deployment capability. The operational benefits of the M3 extend beyond speed. Each vehicle can reach road speeds of up to 80 km per hour, allowing forces to reposition quickly across large operational areas. Its advanced suspension and robust cross-country mobility make it capable of operating effectively in snow, mud, and uneven terrain, supporting Denmark's commitments to Arctic operations and Northern European defense initiatives. The short setup and deployment windows of the M3 reduce exposure to enemy fire, allowing bridging operations to occur and conclude before opposing forces can concentrate attacks on crossing points. This enhances survivability and ensures operational continuity even in high-threat scenarios. Interoperability with NATO forces is another major consideration in Denmark's procurement strategy. The Danish M3 fleet will be fully compatible with systems deployed by Germany, the United Kingdom, and Sweden. Additionally, adapters will allow integration with NATO standard bridging families such as SRB, FSB, and IRB. This plug-and-play functionality ensures seamless coordination during joint exercises and combined operations, eliminating potential delays caused by incompatible equipment and enabling synchronized maneuvers across multinational forces. By investing in systems that can operate alongside allies without technical barriers, Denmark strengthens not only its national capabilities but also the collective readiness and responsiveness of NATO forces in Northern Europe. The procurement of the M3 is also indicative of Denmark's broader approach to defense modernization. By acquiring highly mobile and technologically advanced bridging systems, Denmark reduces reliance on pre-positioned infrastructure or host nation support, enhancing operational independence. This is particularly relevant in crisis scenarios envisioned under NATO's graduated response plans, where rapid reinforcement of the Baltic states or northern Poland may be required. 
The ability to quickly deploy mechanized units across natural obstacles allows Denmark to respond effectively and maintain a credible deterrent posture in the region. Beyond the immediate tactical advantages, the acquisition represents a structural shift in Danish combat engineering doctrine. Traditional bridging systems were limited in speed, mobility, and adaptability, often constraining maneuverability in high-intensity operations. By contrast, the M3 system is designed for dynamic, contested theaters, emphasizing rapid deployment, survivability, and interoperability. This aligns with modern military thinking, which prioritizes flexibility, resilience, and the ability to project power in varied and challenging terrain. It also reflects Denmark's commitment to maintaining a technologically advanced, NATO-standardized force capable of executing complex operations independently or as part of multinational task forces. The arrival of the first M3 systems is scheduled for 2026, and this introduction is expected to have a significant impact on training, operational planning, and overall force structure within the Royal Danish Army. Units will be able to conduct exercises simulating rapid water crossings under realistic combat conditions, improving readiness and refining tactics for high-tempo operations. Furthermore, the modular nature of the M3 ensures that it can be adapted to future operational requirements, accommodating evolving threats, heavier armored vehicles, or integration with new NATO technologies as they become available. From a strategic perspective, the M3 enhances Denmark's ability to project force and respond quickly to regional contingencies. Its deployment supports NATO's deterrence posture in Northern Europe by demonstrating credible capability to move armored forces across natural obstacles without delay. This capability is particularly relevant in areas with complex geography, such as the Danish fjords or the waterways of the Baltic region, where rapid bridging can determine operational success or failure. By improving mobility and reducing reliance on static infrastructure, the M3 contributes to both national defense and the collective security of NATO allies. In addition to operational and strategic considerations, the acquisition underscores Denmark's commitment to high readiness forces and modernization initiatives. As NATO continues to adapt to emerging threats and evolving security environments, member states are increasingly prioritizing equipment that can operate quickly, reliably, and in coordination with allied forces. The M3 system exemplifies this approach, combining speed, mobility, and interoperability in a single platform that enhances both national and alliance-level capabilities. Overall, Denmark's investment in Adele's M3 amphibious bridge and ferry system represents more than a tactical upgrade, it is a transformative step for the Royal Danish Army and its role within NATO. By replacing legacy bridging systems with a modern, mobile, and interoperable platform, Denmark improves its capacity to conduct rapid gap-crossing operations in challenging environments. This investment enhances operational flexibility, supports multinational cooperation, and strengthens deterrence by ensuring that armored forces can maneuver effectively across Europe's most difficult terrain. As delivery begins in 2026, the M3 is poised to become a cornerstone of Denmark's combat engineering capabilities, reinforcing the nation's commitment to readiness, modernization, and regional security.